Right, that's my video setup. This is a new game that I've got. Uh, it's called Out There. I thought this looked pretty cool. So this recent, so this came out recently. So I thought I'd um, I'd get it. It's like six ninety nine uh, in English pounds. So I guess that's about nine ten bucks in um, American dollars. Let me just turn this music down because that's just like crazy loud. Yeah, that's crazy loud. So, I thought I'd have a little go of this and I'm going to be... I'll upload this to YouTube as well because I know I've been very much lacking in my YouTube uploads lately. I, I did a PlayStation update the other day to show you what new games are out, but I've uh, been absolutely crazy busy uh with starting a new job and just getting the time to actually sort of stream and plus i've been messing around with my streaming settings so oh hopefully my voice is even more silky smooth now because i'm running it through some um new audio shenanigans so let's have a little look at this out there i don't know if this is going to be like ftl the nomad Ooh. passenger on a line that connects earth to ganymede Oh, Moon of, Jupiter. Moon of Jupiter. I think that's where Doctor Who's planet's from, isn't it? Ganymede. Until something happened. Unknown event. Yeah, this is what trapped me, trapped me into this. It reminds me of all the uh, like anime films and stuff. When it looks pretty awesome this so far. I wasn't in orbit around Ganymede. Where were you? In fact. I wasn't even in the solar system anymore. That's not a good. That's not a good sign. I was lost there. in space. Oh no! Sorry, wrong show. Yes, I think we're going to need a tutorial. Because if it's like FTL, I've not even played FTL. See, I'm liking this already. It looks really nice graphic style on it. Okay. So, fuel and oxygen. So, all it. Interplanetary reactor is out of order. Oh. I should have a look at the engines. They seem to be down. I should have to think of what could happen if I can't fix them. Click on the ship tab, okay. There's quite a lot of work to do, okay. Okay, so I've re repaired that. Let's, let's fill the fuel tank up. Okay, got my oxygen's fine for the moment. The hull is okay, so let's go back to the star system. That's orbit. Touch the strange cube. <laughs> this is so cheesy. It's so cheesy, but excellent. A subliminal message engraves in me words so strange I have feelings and sensations I did not know until now. It points me to a star. Does it mean I have to go there? Okay, that's the star with a giant big bullseye around it. Okay, so I need to build a face. A face? A space folder. Okay. Click on the system map to return to navigation. Okay. So we're going to try and build a space folder. Click on the free slot. So, there. So I need silicon. I've not got any. Hmm. Right. So cryonics is the thing that makes you sleep in a giant freezer. So there you go. Yes. Okay, so now we need to make the space folder. What actually is a space folder? It doesn't actually say. Oh, we've just, we've just made a space folder. 
Okay, so that's the range of the space folder, the blue marks the far reach of the telescope, so let's see. Select a star to know more about it, so let's click on Nope. Okay, yellow dwarf. Yellow dwarf. Alright, so I just need to choose which one do I want to go to? Mm, which is one? This yellow dwarf. Really polished uh, sound effects on this. The pulsating radiation of the star makes me want to sleep. It hypnotizes me. I lose control over my body. All right, so I've just soiled myself. My numb mind cannot stop me from turning towards the star and powering up the reactors. Against my will, I rise. My legs are carrying me to the airlock. This star or something that inhabits it wants to rob me of my ship and throw me away. Desperately strained to focus, I manage to. Um, I don't know what I want to break, actually. Break an oxygen duct or break the... I'm going to break the oxygen duct. Okay. Ugh. Now, can I repair my ship? What do I do? Yes. Yes. Let's refuel as well. Oh, you can't stop me. Now, what was this local orbit shenanigans? Now, so there's two planets. I can go to a rocky planet. Rich in metallic ore, or I can go to a gas giant. Ooh, what does that mean? Rich in fuel or a risky orbit. Um, I don't really... Well, I do need fuel, but... Mm, no, we're not going to risk that. We're going to go for the easy approach. Let's land. Let's see what happens. Do you want to land on the planet? Hell yeah. Wow, that looks nice. Right, we're going to drill. Okay, we're going to... Do the default drill of five, whatever that does. So we've got some more silicon. Can we drill again? Ooh. Got some more silicon and we got some TH, whatever that is. We've got some hot fun. We've got some more silicon. What, what the hell's silicon? Oh, half, hafnium. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was called Have Fun. Oh dear. Uh, we're going to leave. Yeah, we're going to leave. I don't need to use all my fuel up, so let's take off. Right, I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to skip that. I found something quite amazing deep inside the core of an iron-rich moon, a construction site full of working machines, working for millions of years, building small probes and launching them into space. Apparently, all that's left of a civilization long, long gone millennia ago. I tried to explore, but an automated defense system fired at me and drove me off. Oh, so it's really interesting fact, and I lose health. Yay! Right, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need fuel. Hmm. Mm, let's go to this one. We need we need the fuel really. Yes, let us probe. Okay, I think that's fuel. I think. Now let us let's go back to the ship and refuel and. A little bit. Uh, let us go back to this and we're going to probe again. More fuel. I'm going to. I'm going to probe. I don't know what the. What does the, the red one do? Ah. Well, that didn't work. Wow, that didn't work. Why are my probes not working now? Okay, that's not at all what I wanted to happen. I think we're going to have to uh, 
we're gonna have to run away now. Uh, let's go to another planet. Let's land. Yes, we're gonna land. Cool. Now, how do I get more fuel then? Because. Got more oxygen and some carbon, but I've not got any fuel. Let's, let's do the. Hmm, I'm getting really low on fuel. Actually, it's getting quite worrying. Let's hope we don't run out of fuel on the way. How did I get so far from home? Did I meet a naked singularity that thrust me to some distant place in the universe? If one existed in the solar system, we would have found it long ago. There must be another reason. Has my ship been captured by aliens? That is rather strange. Right, I need fuel. Desperately need fuel. Ooh, yes. Let me let me refuel my ship. I need a lot more fuel than that, though. Um, I've not actually got any uh, more iron. I'm trying to do another probe. Bit more fuel. Okay. I'm going to try and go to a different planet. Red Dwarf. Okay, so what says? I fly up to a strange structure made of stone and metal. It is covered with many ship sized entrances. Whilst considering my options, an invisible force suddenly grabs hold of the ship and draws me inside a structure led by mysterious blue light. I soon arrive at a junction and find my controls restored. There are four exits here one marked with a zero, the others are a one, another one, and bleh. So. Should I stop on zero? No! Ah, what? That's not what I wanted. Oh. Let's, Let's get some fuel. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh, this doesn't look good. I was fixing something outside when an asteroid slammed me away from the ship. They can be difficult to spot on a black backdrop of space. The good news is it wasn't going too fast. Two broken ribs, not that painful on zero G. In order to save myself from being hurled over the ship, I hooked myself onto it with a soldering iron. I'm alive, but now is there a hole in the hull? Oh no, me ship, me, <laughs> me ship's exploded. Surely that means my ship is dead. Um. Can I repair at all? Um, no. 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 Let's see. Where was the um the crafting interface? Um, I don't think I can actually do anything now because I am pretty much screwed. I've not got any hull. So if I've not got any hull, how on earth can I repair? Let's try and... Try and travel. It is actually all that I need. I'm not going to be able to take off now, am I?
So what now? <laughs> oh. I think I've screwed it. I've got no fuel left. Um <laughs> I've got no fuel. Well, there's nothing I can do. Ah. Oh. That's it. I'm dead. So as you can see that <laughs> that is that is it. I've